with another video. You know, you're doing the urban gardening here with the, with Uncle Bull Cow. All right, guys. So what we're going to talk today about is nutrient deficiencies in plants. And I want to show you some examples. Okay. Here is one. Well, let's start off over here. See some, some leaf wrinkle. A lot of times that can be a calcium deficiency. Um, sometimes it's erratic watering or something like that, but um, that's the that's that's a possible calcium deficiency there. This, so please pay attention. This is magnesium deficiency. Okay, there's another leaf there. Hope you can see it. See how it's on the outside of the leaf like that? That is it means that this plant is um, lacking magnesium. Now, it's a little wrinkle too, so it could be lacking calcium and magnesium, which I'm imagining is the case. And I got two other plants I'm going to show you real quick. This probably has just a, this, this, this is just a mess right now. See that? See that yellowing? Those yellowing leaves down there and how they're starting from the bottom? Yes, that's nitrogen defic deficiency. Now, there could be some, uh, of course, I believe this is, you know, calcium also. And the reason why these are like this is because they got what's called nutrient lockout. Um, I double topped these plants and I did it way too soon. And when I first topped them, I mean, just go, go look at my Instagram. You'll see the pictures. I topped them, let them recover for about three weeks, four weeks. They were just massive. They were just perfect. And uh, then I, I topped them again shortly afterwards, and it was just a little too aggressive. And what I did was I overwatered them. When you're cutting most of the foliage off and you're doing that much damage and stress, you got to be careful how much water you give to them. So I actually damaged some of these plants. Um, I, I got more that look like this or even worse because a lot of the leaves have dropped. So, And that is why those plants look like that. And this plant looks like this. You know what's wrong with this plant? Not wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. We know why this plant doesn't look like those. Because this plant has never been messed with. You know, it's taller, of course. Um, but this plant has never been topped at all. And it just looks perfect. So this plant has been, hasn't, hasn't had the stresses. Um, and another thing, if I overwater that other plant, it's not going to matter. Uh, it's got good drainage. It's just, um, and of course, these have good drainage also, but it's still, you're putting too much water and you, you're aggressively topping the plants. It doesn't have enough canopy, enough leaves to photosynthesize correctly and to suck up that water. So you'll notice that you don't have to water it every three days. It'll be wet or moist for like a week. And uh, I, I made a mistake, I'll admit it. And I, and I gave them water when I shouldn't have. So what are we going to do for this here? What, what am I going to do about that? That magnesium deficiency. Well, I want to show you. My friend, the pineappler, Tony Reeves, has been telling me for a while. And then Chris Miller, Miller Savory, just told me Epsom salts. They told me, I, and this is something that I have never used. But they, Tony told me how he gave it to his plants <clears throat> last year. And they just did great. Um, <clears throat> I think he did Epsom salts. And then he started to put a little hydrogen peroxide in his soil which we all know always helps so what i'm gonna do with this is just you know it's it's not a direct measurement but take maybe a half a teaspoon and i'm gonna put it around the base and then i'm gonna water this plant this plant needs water um if i waited another day there's a bottom leaf there i'm gonna get off sometimes you get leaves like that that are just touching the soil yeah you don't want that so i'm just gonna you guys can see this. I'm just going to go around here. But just, you know, just give or take a half a teaspoon. It doesn't have to be exact measurement. And then I'm going to give it some water on top of that. And what am I using? Well, because I've got a nutrient lockout here, um, and it's, it's hard because I overwater them, it's hard for them to get up nutrients. I am going to give them nutrients. And um, they most of these plants will bounce back. So what I'm using today is the Fox Farms. Not this last one. No, I'm not using that. That's the uh, tiger bloom. That's for later on in the season. But I got the big bloom here. And that one is a very low NPK. It's um, bat, guano, and uh, earthworm castings. And then also 
This one, <clears throat> the Grow Big, that one has an NPK of 644. That has a good amount of nitrogen in it, okay? And so I'm only doing in a, in a, a half gallon, one teaspoon of the um, Grow Big. That's the one with the nitrogen. One teaspoon and two teaspoons of the Big Bloom, which is the back guano and all that. And so here's my little water and nutrients. I, you get something with a spout like this, it's easy. Um, if you have plants that are double topped or topped and it's hard to get back in there, right here is the key. This is amazing. It's just a little squirt bottle. You'd put like vinegar or mustard in, but you can actually get down in here with this and, and, and hit evenly across where I put the Epsom salts. And uh, I haven't never seen anybody water this way. It was just something that I came up with. And it works great. Um, but I want to evenly water this. I want to make sure that I'm not just pouring water and it's all going in one side. Because of these Epsom salts, I want to get right in there and get a good amount of water. And these nutrients that I'm giving it um, are going to make this plant just, it's just going to thrive. This plant is a um, purple orange reaper, I believe. Yep, purple orange reaper. I got these uh, isolated seeds from Jimmy Pickles. And uh, this was a purple reaper, you know, that the very, it came up because they go from purple to like a deep red, the purple reaper. This here was an orange variant and the guy actually sent uh, that back to Jimmy and Jimmy stabilized it. And so now it's a purple orange reaper. It ripens orange with some little bit of purple blotches on it. If you want to call them blotches, I know there's other names people use, but I have like a kind of like one side, I'll have a purple hue to it. Um, and so, yeah, and I'm just going to give this some, some water. That's it. Okay. So, um, I'll move on to this plant. Take those leaves off. See, see, they're just dead. They're not doing anybody any good. Okay. Another thing you might want to do is come in here and prowl around for dead leaves. See, I'm flicking that. Gonna get anything off there because this is this is where lights going to get down into your canopy. If you see something that's kind of suspect, pluck it off. If you see a leaf that's just dying, a lot of these leaves will. Yeah, look at that just came right off. It's three leaves, but now you see that I can that light can get down in that middle. But you don't want to leave leaves laying around like this. You see that's terrible looking. And so uh, yeah, now here's the difference. This plant was water the same time as the last one was. But when I put my finger down in there, it's still got a little bit of moisture to it. It's not as dry as other plants. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm still going to go around with some Epsom salts, okay? And then I'm just going to give it a little bit of water to get them Epsom salts down in and working. I do not want to overwater this plant. If this plant gets too much water right now, it is going to die. It's, it's already been through enough stress, so... Give it some water and nutrients, and unfortunately, most of these leaves will end up falling off, but you can see how thick that stem is, that stalk under there. See that? Actually, rip off these little bottom leaves like that. You see how thick that is and how healthy that is in that branch? Um, this plant, the, the growth may be stunted on it a little bit, of course, because it got so traumatized, but... Uh, it's okay. It will still, you know, bear fruit at this point. But most of those leaves will fall off. Uh, I'm going to take these plants outside today and give them maybe a half hour of sunlight because uh, they've never seen sunlight before. And then next week I'll bring them out um, for a, a little bit longer. So all I'm doing is going along the top here and just getting a little bit of this, this moisture down in there. Get them Epsom salts working. And that's it. I'm not going to give it any more water. Because this thing, is, it's, it's still got some moisture. Uh, the edges were kind of dry, but down in, I could feel the roots have some moisture. I don't want to overdo it. Definitely not. And then this plant here, this is a beautiful yellow Maruga scorpion. I also got these seeds isolated from Jimmy Pickles. And this one is really light because it is uh, it needs water. Um, and so this one, if you see the size of the canopy on this, look at, look at that. That's insane. Uh, this one, I can give it as much water as I want. It's not going to hurt it because it's got such 
good established roots. It has a huge canopy. Um, oops, poured a little bit too much there. It went a little bit uneven, and I don't, I don't like that. If that's the case, you can just always kind of just just swirl it around like you're you're making cinnamon toast, you know. <laughs> I'll give this some water and um, yeah, so nutrient deficiencies, nutrient lockout. I had some nutrient lockout from overwatering when they were double topped. Um, and now, I, unfortunately, I do have some plants that are not going to do well. Let me show you one. Uh, this is a, this is one that's just, it's, it's struggling to produce more. It's look at how many stalks it has and all of that new growth that was on there died. Uh, that thing just, it was, it's a pre -metalli. It was one of my most beautiful plants and I cut it down way too low. You see that. Okay. When you top it, yeah, you, the first time you topped it a little bit. When you double top, you do not want to do this. I went too far with it and it's trying to force itself to keep creating new main branches because of these being damaged. And it's just, I mean, it's just too much. I mean, there's already six main branches and it's trying to create more. Um, and I gave it a little bit too much water, and so those leaves fell off. This plant will recover, but it'll be like a bonsai. So this will be one of Mrs. Bullcow's bons bonshi plants uh, she wants to play around with, and uh, and it'll be a pretty interesting what this looks like. So we will update you on this when we uh, start the bonshi project. Thanks for watching, guys.